Hi. Did you know that you can watch Last Podcast on the Left and Side Stories on our Patreon right now? Yes, that's patreon.com slash last podcast on the left. But over on TikTok, you can see the hottest, tightest, funniest clips from the show right there. It's TikTok. TikTok. It's at LP on the left. It's the same as our Instagram. You already follow the Instagram. Why don't you go follow TikTok? But it's on TikTok. Yeah, because... Seeing is believing. Yep. So just go check it out. Watch it. Go send our podcast to China. I love TikTok the crocodile. It's my favorite TikTok. It's the only one he knows. There's no place to escape to. This is the last podcast. On the left. <laughs> Side stories? That's when the cannibalism started. Side stories. Yeah. Eddie, what? I think you're leaving a lot of money on the table. And we talked about this today coming in. What do we do? Are we are we live? Yeah, I'm leaving money on the table. You are. Well, then give it to me. <laughs> you gotta be. No, 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 no. It's figurative. It's oh, okay. figurative. You gotta get into. Okay. The big bopper impersonator space. I mean, who's asking for it? I'm ready though. I think big bopper Ooh, needs to. You know Ooh, what I like. like. I think that the big bopper has. He's got to come back. Well, I because think, novelty I think songs going to happen. There needs to be more novelty songs. Oh yes, for sure. I miss novelty songs. I think it's fun to do. I kind of like the first hip hop in a way. Sure, gently lace. Yep. He's not singing. Con that I face. Yep. Ponytail, confident, hanging down. I absolutely. Chantilly Lace by the Big Bopper oh, is the first rap song. The world go round, there round, is round. no way it's Nothing not. Nothing in the world like, like a big eye girl. Make, make me act so funny. Make, make me spend my money. money make, make me feel real loose like a long leg goose. I got a girl. Oh, oh baby, that's, that's what I like. It's the side stories. Um, I'm Henry Zabrowski. This is Ed Larson. I don't know if you could tell. Hire me. But I will come to your wedding and sing that song. I'll get a crew cut. I feel like the big bopper, big glasses. He's underrepresented. I'm gonna slap your mother's ass. He he we, again in character. Yeah, he's the offensive lineman of mm. 1950s pop. He needs to be out there. He needs to be represented. He's the Gronk man of 1950s novelty songs. If he would have lived, imagine if he would have got like super dirty, like in the 80s. I think he would have died. You think he would have died anyway? I, there's so many ways that the decade would have killed him. When your first name is big, you usually don't last long. No, you know, <laughs> it's my veins that are small. I got the heart the size of a pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> they say there's a blockage in the Widowmaker artery. <laughs> you know what I like. It's triglycerides. But no, he, uh, he would be dead. You know, like, there's no way, because his real name is something like, yeah, it's J.P., J.P. Richardson. J.P. Richardson. That's who the Big Bopper You have to change your name to Big. They're the Big Bopper. But yeah, no one ever says anything about him. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no beautiful rendition. We haven't had somebody come forward and play him in a sad Oscar movie. Yeah. Well, Well, there is no, I mean, what do you, who cares? Everyone, I everyone he died with was more popular than him. I know, and but, that, but it should have given him the bump. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. He's got a flat top. Yeah, uh, yeah he looks like he definitely he has cigar mouth, and he you could smell from under his belly from five feet away from him. How old was was the Big Bopper when he died? Rob? I want to say he's like twenty one. There, you know what I mean. He looks like he's he, a thirty five year old man. Yeah, but he was super young when he died. He was very very young. The Big Bopper JP was twenty eight years old. He oh, looks wow. like a longshoreman. Yeah. <laughs> He is very, very thick. And I'm certain he might have been, I'm not looking here, there might have been some sort of, um, some problems here. He, he, he might have been a, a weird man. I mean, I imagine he sounded weird. But I feel like it'd be great. It'd be great for you. It's good. Yeah, no, let's find out more about him. And then someone uh, write that up for me. You, if we could, could <laughs> can, 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 can go ahead and do that. I just think that it's important to have some representation from some people. Because, yeah, La Bamba was great. But Richie Valens, yeah. he was this sort of like, you know, romantic figure. But the Big Bopper, no one wants to fuck him. Look at him. You have the same veneers. I, I do. And his are natural. <laughs> he's got the same thing like he's got the big teeth there's gotta be there's women that want to fuck that yo for sure there's there's think, men that want to understand that i don't think big bopper had any trouble getting laid i well you know and not until once he the hit came and then he was fine but he does look like everyone's husband yeah yeah which i think is great no he uh, definitely looks like my uncle ronnie there's no question about it he and really he's does. 28 here uh he's god he's 28 years old he looks like 
Yeah. God, my so Jesus. wild. Looks like and a president. He, yeah. And then when he died, though, he was like more popular than Richie Valiant's, and I guess like and Buddy Holly. He was he was a big guy. He was a big yeah. guy. People were into his shit. Because because again, Chantilly knees and a pretty face. So and you a do it tail. almost better than I do. But you look like it. You would have to like maybe if like I would mouth it and you would sing it. That'd be great. That'd be the way to do it. I want to do this. Yeah. <laughs> two man buddy, two man big bopper. That's, That's our show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it takes two men to be one big old bopper. <laughs> Whoa. Um, all right. Well, we got a lot of fucking things to get into. I'm gonna update you on things that you were not a party to. Okay. Um, but I would need to learn. I explained them to you before because Marcus is working this week. Brought you into side stories to obviously go over to the 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 truly most important news of the day. Uh, what we did learn was that we got the toxicology reports from the three young men that died in Kansas City. Now this story is Barbecue. very Ooh, wow. No, I mean t- they yes, their bark was found. Yeah, <laughs> they, they each one of them had a red bark around them, but no, unfortunately, it was fentanyl. Ah. So these three young men, Ricky Johnson, Clayton McGinney, and David Harrington, they were discovered outside of Jordan Willis's home in Kansas City, Missouri. Now, we were covering it as if it was a big old mystery. What did you think it was? Well, the Wendigo. Uh, that's what I said. Always but apparently the, the Wendigo was just the, the strain of cocaine that they got. Yeah. The end of the night. When to go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> yeah, thank you. This is why you, you really help. <laughs> but so these guys, they were found outside. They were frozen to death in the backyard of Jordan Willis's home. For a while, there was a bit of mystery because... Oh, they were just celebrating the Chiefs. Oh, they didn't even get to see the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Well, I guess uh, they saw it last they've year. Got, they've had plenty. Yeah. Uh, but in terms of sports, but not enough life. It's actually very sad. So they were found outside frozen. They thought that maybe they had died mysteriously in the night. There's actually some comparisons to the... I believe it's pronounced the Diatlov... I might be wrong. The, the Otlov Pass incident, which is a story from the 1950s, 60s in Russia. A bunch of skiers. They went in the middle of fucking literally it was this place called like Don't Go There Mountain. Okay. It's like Mountain Doom, literally, I think it was called. And they all froze to death and they were found naked, disrobed, some of them with their tongues missing. And it's just like long, like there's a lot of mysteries about Very what true happened. Detective. Very true detective. Uh, but these guys, they were just found dead outside. And so for a while, people thought that maybe it was like, we thought what was weird is that why didn't they fight to come inside? Why didn't they go run looking for shelter? How could you freeze it so quickly? Because this was before there was any sort of evidence of foul play because there's been no charges, still no charges. But we kind of figured once the toxicology reports come out, because we didn't want to just say that it was fentanyl. Yeah, they were trashed and they died. Because it makes it because it's sad. It's really sad. And uh, I know I will say, and I was saying this before the show, I've seen more open cocaine use in the Midwest than any other region of the world. Yeah. And by the time it gets to the Midwest, they're putting fentanyl in it. You know, like I mean, in Florida, you got a chance of it being more pure. I don't Down know. Down here, you got more of a chance of it being pure. But by the time it gets to Kansas City, even like Wisconsin, I mean, what are we, are we going to sit here and pretend like no one's fucked with that Coke? The only way I'm going to trust a Coke dealer is if I could see his nipples and he's got a big hat. Yeah. All right. I want him to have a big wide hat. I want him to be like, I want him off a boat going, my friend. <laughs> like, like, that's what I want to see him. Open shirt, like little spectacles, big Panama hat. That's where I want to get my cocaine. I don't want to get it from some guy named Ryan yeah. at the at the Thirsty Dumper, <laughs> you know, in downtown Sheboygan. Like, you know, like, that's not where I want to get it. But these guys are, it's I've really sad. i the Thirsty Dumper. Yeah, it's great, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah, Try yeah. the... Death. Dump. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> try, try. But these guys are, it's really sad. So they obviously, they were, they did a little bit, they, they got a bad batch. And, but Jordan Willis had owned the home. He's now in rehab. So he went, he mysteriously left the house. That's a good time to go. But there's still no, there was, uh, uh, yes, but there's no criminal charges flying around yet. So we don't know where the, the cocaine came from. I believe at this point that the cops just knew a bunch of information that we were not privy to, which is yeah. why there was no criminal charges passed around. There's probably some evidence that one of the deceased brought it. We don't know yet. Yeah. Uh, but now we know that that mystery is unfortunately closed with the saddest news of all. Is yeah. that is something, you know, that, that nose candy took you all the way to Mount No, not here no more. Isn't it crazy that fentanyl is worse than Coke? It's so weird, Like, dude. Coke used to be the drug that killed people. It already was killing people. Yeah. Like, yeah. it already was doing well enough. I'll never really understand. I've had people, I'd get reached, I got reached out a couple of times, people talking about how, like, true, it is not in a drug dealer's, like, it is not to a drug dealer's benefit to put fentanyl in their 
drugs. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. They don't want to kill their clientele. Yeah, they got to get the people back to buy more. But we have to, I do think we need to rigorously test our fun in this country. And you have to remember that. I do, I think it's important to have Narcan available. If you want to do the shit, you got to have the tools. This is it now, unfortunately. You get the test strips on Amazon. It's not fun anymore. You're going to have to bring a fanny pack. Okay, yeah. and if you're going to go out there, you're going to bring bring some stuff. Just test the strips. Man, we're so lucky. Well, you never really did any drugs, but no. like, but I, you know, I I did a not like a lot of cocaine, but enough, you know. And I'm so lucky that it, like because I just you know you do it at a bar, you don't think about it. No, I saw my buddies do it very casually. I did not know a lot of people who that were like deep in it. That's even kind of the that's who it kills though with yeah. the fentanyl. It's like it's not really killing the hardcore users as much as it killing the guys that are just kind of doing it on the weekend because yeah. you're not used to the levels. And they had 30 times, the three men had 30 times a lethal dose Damn. in their bodies. So oh they got God. a big old chunk of it. And fentanyl is basically like morphine, right? I think so. It's not good. Yeah. It's not like you don't want it. You don't want to be needing it either. <sighs> you know what? I want to uh, charge Pfizer. I'm so sick of this shit. Just yeah. charge them. Like, how is it getting out there? I Why don't know. They, if you if it's like an end of life type of drug, we, right? this is a part of those things. I have no idea. I have no idea how it works. I think people make it. People go and they make their own version of fentanyl, or there's there's probably runoff of fentanyl. There's fat. There's like factories where you probably buy some of it. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I don't know where I get my fentanyl. Yeah, you know, because like when I want fentanyl, I get it straight from old Newman's Farms. <laughs> My farm, my locally raised fentanyl is some of the finest, most delicious crocodile that you can get in America. Well, you know, Paul Newman's, you know, Newman's own <laughs> fentanyl. Yeah, Newman's it, it just goes fentanyl back into the society. Would be a great, on, yes, because then he gives it back to charity. Yeah. So not only do you get to know your <laughs> local fentanyl farmer, get to know him, get to smell his soil, meet his wife. Yeah. That would be incredible. But no, unfortunately, how about it's hard we just to get. get some better drugs. I just think that people are so uh, sick of this. Just, Why I, people don't need to die from drugs? I don't know. I don't know. I, I understand it's hard Who's out there right now. drugs these days? There's, there's, I've not seen new ones. I think there was a new one that's called like Coco Crisp or something. They always, but then we, by the time we hear it, it's got a boomer name. Yeah. yeah like yeah. it's applied by the, the, the news and it's not a drug anymore. It's always something else. They're like, this new drug, Wicked Spaghetti. And you're like, I've never heard it. No one's selling it. <laughs> you know, like, and then they've just come up with their own dumb name for it. I don't know how that works. But no, it makes me, it's hard because I just smoke weed. Mm-hmm. I do a little bit of hallucinogens. You know, I got my sentinine. Yeah. I'm sentinine. I got that, man. I I'm took, fucking good. I got caffeine. My, my lion's mane. Yeah. I'm up on that shit now. I'm, fu- I'm already scared enough just living life. Man, I just don't, why, you don't need to see the other side. Just get casually fucked up. It's, it's hard. I do get it because, again, people are upset. Yeah. It's hard out there. Job market's intense. <laughs> You're gonna want to do some cocaine. You're gonna want to hang out with your buddies. You're gonna want to go to disco night at the yeah. at the fucking at the the thirsty dumper. That's right. You You're gotta gonna want to go down there. Yeah, you gotta say no. It's a fentanyl. Thank you. Yeah, say no. I say no. The fentanyl, and we're gonna get that <laughs> tattooed uh, on our bodies. And so that's an unfortunate end to what I thought was gonna be a much more exciting mystery because I was exciting for proof of the Wendigo. Man, just fucking whoever. W- Owns the factory where fentanyl is made. Jam it down their throat. We got to go get it. I want. We got to yeah. go to the factory. Actually, they should take the fentanyl in. I believe. I actually feel like that. That might act. That might make it like funner and cooler. I mean, we'll have. It's only one way to find out. It makes your butthole drool. You find a rich, rich white man. Pull down his pants. Yeah, I'm used to it. Fill his butt with fentanyl. Honestly, if I don't get my fentanyl every day, 845, 930, 1145, 1245, I am just not right. I am not ready for my quarterly meeting. I got to have it. I'm sitting on a pile of powder right now. from your grave. Hello, Ed Larson and Amber Nelson from the brighter side here to check in with you, see how you're doing. Is your day more disappointing than a gas station sandwich? Are you trying to put one foot in front of the other in a glue factory? Did you try to throw your air fryer in the bathtub, but nothing happened because you were too lazy to plug it in first? Then the Brighter Side podcast is for you. Oh, yeah. Each week, we take nasty, dookie, stupid, dumb, stinky, no good, doo-doo factory, caca like topics, and try to find the brighter side. Hey, Amber, uh, what's the brighter side of waking up chained to a bed in Russia? Um, at least they have free health care. That's right. 
So start your weekend off right every Friday with the brighter side on the last podcast network. You beautiful babies. Um, all right, so that's a fucked up story. This is another fucked up story. Now, this right. is one of classic side stories edition. Um, classic side stories oh, the Wednesday of the week. Okay. There's always the best story of the week comes out. Hump day. Hump day. Now, this is, again, maybe it's not good to call it the best story of the week, but I do think that it is compelling and fucked up. This is the story of Justin Moan, 32. It's a Pennsylvania okay. man, quote unquote, allegedly shot father with gun, purchased the day before decapitation and decapitated his father. I'm going to go out there. You said allegedly? Yes, it's still allegedly. There's a video of it. Though. There's Well, there's video of him playing with a severed head. So this man, Justin Moan, 32 years old, he now faces charges of first-degree murder, abuse of a corpse, and possession of an instrument of crime, which is actually a really fun crime name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it's just like, because what else could be? Nunchucks? Everything, yeah. A grappling hooks? Yeah, yeah anything so, could be an instrument of crime. I view more like, you know, like you a spray- cue ball. What do you do to spray dust in? Now, because honestly, man, that'd be fucking cool. Chiba, driven, like cat burglar, using fucking weed smoke to see where the lasers are. Yeah. And then that's how Snoop Dogg, that's my pitch to Snoop Dogg. But then you just get too lazy to rob the person. Exactly. <laughs> and then you realize life of crime is not for me. Actually, you know what's good, you know what's good for me, man? Fucking life of music, because music's the one thing that hits you and you feel no pain, man. Oh, man. Yeah. You love your flute music. Hoo-doot. Don't get me started. We're getting into it. Yeah. Um, so the Pennsylvania man, he what he did was is that um, he was agitated. This guy, Justin Moan, a real, um, I'm going to go out there, I'm going to call him a real piece of fucking shit. And he looks like it. He really um, does look awful. And so he uh, he was a very a spirited young man. He looks shot like his someone father. pulled a pencil out of a pile of glue. Yeah, I, I hate him. Yeah. He looks like Stephen Crowder if he was put through the fly machine with a gecko. Yeah, you know like like sometimes you take a nice long dump and you look down and it's like taupe for some reason. That's or beige. Bad. That's bad. That's what this guy looks like. Yes, he, he does. He looks like a beige shit. That's a very cholesterol ridden shit. Yeah. And that's what he looks like. But he purchased a 9mm handgun on Monday uh, just the day before he, he his, shot his father at the Levitone home he shared with his parents. No waiting process? Um, oh, buddy. Oh, he waited long enough. 32 years. But I'm saying when you get the gun, you got to wait like three weeks, right? A oh, handgun. Not, not this guy. He got right into it. So he was uh, arrested in Middletown Township. Um, they were called to, uh, the police officers called to his home around 7 p.m. Tuesday after a woman reported that she had found her husband dead. Uh, and that was his mother. So he was living with his parents. No shit. So he was a uh, full on, I'm going to say MAGA enthusiast. Okay. Uh, he was really against and this is why he he, he uh, beheaded his father, who was a federal worker for 20 years, is that he is beginning to mobilize his own militia that he called Moan's Militia. He wanted them to go and attack every federal building uh, and kill judges, kill Biden. He gave out several judges' addresses, and it was all in the name of, number one, heavily disagreeing with Biden's ability to uh, cancel out student loans. Real bitter about that. Which is again, there's it's, ways it's, to go about fixing that if you want. You got to so do it in the booth. Want but them? It, no, he didn't want them. He thinks that students are lazy and everyone needs to pay back their loans because he attempted to sue. This is amazing. He made it was he he did something like oh, close to a million dollars in college loans. This is up until the murder of his father, and he attempted to sue the university for giving him two loans. He said basically because you're making me pay these back. He has sued everyone. He sued his employer. He was with a uh, with a company that fired him. He sued them because, quote unquote, they wouldn't give him the uh, supervisor provision that he wanted because he was a man. Um, and not because he's a fucking asshole. And a lunatic. Yeah, and bad at his shit, right? And so then he goes on to this. He's trying to form a militia. You don't usually give that kind well, of Well, this is where he might be. Um, he said they, they they believe that investigators believe that Justin Moan was of clear mind at the time of the alleged murder, but he is not. So if you look at, they saved the video. So after he killed his father, he beheaded his corpse and then displayed it on his YouTube channel where he made a call to his Moan's militia people that you can hear him say, like, we're going to rise up and we're going to kill every judge that we can get our hands on. Here's yeah. the first 20 seconds in which he... Uh, displays this video and then basically displays the, which is, we're not going to show, but the decapitated uh, head of his father in a plastic bag. Yeah. Okay. I'll look at it, but we don't have to show the people. 
This is the head of Mike Moan, a federal employee of over 20 years, and my father. Great. And so what he did was that he showed this video and then goes on a long, rambling monologue. Do you think about he made it like, so it was like, you know, like uh, for children, you know? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Did he make it? Yeah, where did he put the, 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 the warning? The yeah, 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 yeah. There was a little thing underneath it. Be like, maybe harmful to children. Some misinformation. Um, but he uh, he came out and he, uh, yes, he said, oh, but, you know, tried to activate his militia and mm -hmm. he was trying to get people. But he was also trying to point people towards the fact that he's an artist. Yeah. And nobody understands him. And uh, he's deeply, he's racist. Uh, he's uh, sexist. He's everything, but he's also artistic. Yes. And here's some of the music that he had put forward. Now, he's saying that because he wished that people would understand it. This is the messages that he has created that he wanted people to understand. And that, that you know, against people, we're just too fucking stupid. Okay. You're too fucking stupid I, to I get it. I feel stupid. Yeah. You're too fucking stupid. You're a big dummy. Mm -hmm. You walk around playing with your feet. Yeah, I got cheeseburgers in my pockets. Yeah, that's all you do, right? Yeah. Justin Moe knows that. And so he's, he's, a, you're a part of what he's at war with. Okay. Okay. I mean, I am, I think I am against him. Yes, yes. we I are. Think, think. We are his enemy. <laughs> we are his enemy. So here, look at this. Uh, and yeah, yeah we can hear, plays just some of his music. Now this is called Justin Stalker's part one. Now this is where I want to remind all of you. All right. You know how many times I get emails, people saying, how do I get into X, Y business? How do I get into podcasting? How do I do sketch comedy? And so you got to remember, you just got to make stuff. Yeah. Right. Because guess who's making stuff? This guy, Justin, this guy's made three albums of three material. Albums? He is so utterly delusional. Wow. That he saw them all his way through and, and he made this up. And, and I would say Spotify? they're on Spotify. So I would actually put this. So I would actually put this to you. All right. You might need some motivation. That's the thing with these MAGA fucks. They can, they're good with paperwork. Yeah, well, they just sit around all day because they're unhirable. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so let's play this video just a little quick. Yo, you're Justin Moe. I heard you were gonna be here. My name from Wam 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 Wam. Wanna smoke this blunt? I hate this guy. Here he doesn't like the Black Lives Matter movement. I heard you say he blames the far left woke mobs on his lack of artistic success. But he still likes you. weed. And no. I wanna write He's saying his stalker you. gave him weed. Oh! Here are my friends. Yeah, there's no one stalking this guy. It's really earning that name, Moan. Oh. All right, I hate this guy. Yes. Uh, we don't need to get many. Yeah, we can stop this. Any, like, well, yeah, Spotify, take him down. Well, now it's. I actually think it's good for people to hear what this sounds like. Because he's crazy, but he's not. I don't know if this is. This is no longer. This is all ripped from Spotify. Okay. So a lot of it might have been deleted at this point. Um, but yes, he had sued the federal government multiple times for allowing him to take out student loans. Um, he had a 2023. He was seeking more than 10 million dollars, arguing that his loan allowed him to get a college education, but that he could not find a satisfactory job as an overeducated white man to repay the loan. Um, didn't work. I mean, that's it. Welcome to the fucking all of society. It's just he's Do we just know bad. anyone who uses their degree? Me? Yeah, really. I'm a BA in theater. You're not in theater. You do talk radio. Mm, but is it not theater of the mind? <laughs> <laughs> See, after he said that he struggled to find a full-time job, everybody did. He also yeah. alleged that his education and poor financial situation and it made him a target of, quote-unquote, affirmative action and reverse discrimination. I think it makes you guilty of being a pale loser. Yeah, you just suck, bro. You just didn't do it right, No dog. one likes you. We're the fucking, you were fine, dude. You have a horrible attitude and a thick neck. And a, no talent. Yeah. And now you're going to fucking jail. So he is going, well, we'll find out. Again, allegedly. He's, been taken He's holding custody. his dad's head in the video. What do you mean allegedly? Allegedly. I know you're being responsible, but he fucking killed his dad. <laughs> it is difficult. <laughs> you know what's really fucking scary about seeing a decapitated head in a video, which is, uh, it's been a while since I've seen one. Yeah, because we used to see them all the time in like Faces of Death and we like used to when look at this shit. Rotten.com was around. You I know? was deep in this material for a long time and I really, I'm like, I'm kind of, I don't watch it as much anymore because I have a more don't of a lease on life um but yeah it's just it's one of the fucked up things about it is that you kind of expect death to be this sort of like dramatic 
moment because for you, it's this extremely dramatic yeah. ending journey towards oblivion. But it's so weird how permanent and quick and subtle death is. Dude, we were talking about this. Does this help people relax? One of the scariest, is this a fun thing? like what made me like realize like death is terrifying was when I saw Saving Private Ryan in the movie theater when I was like, you know, 17 or however old I was when that movie came out. And a man shot his brains out in the theater. Yeah, he was just like, all right, guys, you think that's real? <laughs> you, think, <nobody> <laughs> <laughs> you guys thought that was intense, huh? Oh, fuck, yeah, see you in hell, yeah. But during the D-Day, when they're going up and they're and they just like, at one point, a dude gets, he's like, he's talking and then he gets shot three times and then he's just, he just immediately over. dead and he just slumps over and it's just like instant dead. And I'm like, yeah, there's nothing glamorous about that. No, absolutely. And that's why our boys in blue are allowed to get on Delta flights early. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm glad that they are because well, they, boys in blue, the, the military. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah they military. got boys. That's a big the difference guys. though. The, you know, cops and, and military. You know what I mean? They yeah, knew yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. saying, right? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. they fight for my freedom to be wrong. That's right. That's right. They love that you're wrong. Woo! Teflon, yeah, yeah, yeah. baby! <laughs> Teflon! I've been seeing comedians that need a little white flag. Yeah. Then you go like, no, 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 white flag. Yeah. Oh, Satire. yeah. Satire. Yeah, it was an accident. Yeah, it's all right, everybody. Yeah, I'm just sitting here talking and whatever comes out of my mouth, you know, I'm wrong a lot. You know, people say that. You know, when my, um, you know, when my, my father passed away the first time, because my dad died twice, <laughs> right? Cool. Uh, and the first time he died and he didn't know he died. You know, and like he like he woke up the next day and the the nurse, he was in the hospital. The nurse was like, rough night last night, huh? And then uh, he's like, what no, you, the he's, best sleep of my life. He's yeah. like, what are you talking about? She's like, you died. You were dead for like three minutes. And then uh, that's what everybody says too. apparently. You just don't know you're dead. And then actually on your way to death, it's actually kind of nice. Yeah. My yeah, my dad said, uh, then I asked him, like, you know, anything? And he's like, no, nah, there's nothing. So, well, now we have that. Enjoy I, your I, drive I time one. to work today. I hope you guys are inspired. To, to, to get, you know what? Get your nose to the grindstone. Yeah. Make sure you go work a solid 11 hours today and then come home and you experience nothing. Put on the jerk. Just watch your telephone all night. You know what I mean? And do that day after day after day, year after year. Yeah. Um, really sad. Uh, but he also, according to Justin Moen, sadly, he was also an author. Um, um, anyone could be an author this day when I was watching CNN the other day there was like multiple commercials to print your own book it's and it's just like giant. that should not like how are there multiple commercials for me to write a fake book and print it that's how you'll see as we go into more UFO territories and shit is that that's how truth is disseminated my friend yeah Although truth, I did, it did make me want to write a book. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I kind of yeah. want to do a bathroom joke book. Anybody can. Yeah, we yeah, should. Yeah. We should write an old school. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah When yeah. we were kids, our favorite. Truly tasteless jokes. That was what Bro we had. Blanche not. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. We, my dad still collects those every year. Yeah. I buy him a toilet reader. Yeah, yeah. See, I, that's his favorite place. I think so. I think uh I think that's something that needs to happen. I'm gonna put that in the universe. Let's talk about this. Yeah, yeah. I love this. Just self-produced. Yeah, I want to do toilet books. Yeah. Except it does promote hernias. Well, oh, it does? Yeah, because sitting on the toilet for too long. Oh, great. We'll put a section on it. I think really Every 10th joke would be like, get off the toilet. Stand up. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, one of the books <laughs> that Justin Monroe wrote was called The Second Messiah, where it is loosely based on the life of author and musician Justin Moen. Um, oh, he calls himself the second yes, messiah? Yes, he does. And he does say that he was, yes, he was a sire. I think he had mental health issues. Jesus moved out very young. Yes, he was. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't a deadbeat. Out, he moved out very young. Yeah, he, he really was traveling did. for years. He was like, it was like almost like twenty something years. He was traveling. They stopped selling his book on Amazon too. So his Amazon bio was: Justin Moan is an author of seven books, a musician of three albums, oh and God. one single. You go search for it. There's a picture of a fucking yeah. dog. Dog. Says, like, Sorry, you couldn't find the page. <laughs> yeah, it's got Roro, the, the the mistake dog, which is very funny. So Justin Moan, <laughs> so funny. I know Ro -ro. you want to watch this murder. Read this murderer's book about how he's a messiah. Ro -ro. Here's a picture of a dog. Are you looking for? A homophobic <laughs> manifesto? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> so funny. All we had is pause. You will find your anti-Semitic screech here. Uh, but yeah, his bio: Justin Moen is an author of seven books, a musician of three albums. His life story is unbelievable, and there may not be enough words to describe him, but one may begin to understand his complexity and experiences through his art. He only wishes to bring positive change. 
to the world. And so now he's going to be bringing that positive change to the federal penitentiary. Uh, we'll see oh, how he makes fuck his ass up. It's going to be a lot. And uh, but yes, it's deeply racist, homophobic. So uh, you know, let's just hope he gets the help he needs. Yeah. <laughs> Because he is going to go, he's going to go to jail. I mean, he's going to have to go full Aryan. But well, if they'll take him. If they'll take him. They mean, he might not, his blood might, might not be strong enough. Yeah, no, he, he killed his father. So his father, they'll probably be That's mad about crime, that. That's a big crime, yeah. They're yeah. like, you'd be like, that is all, you will not kill your father. Your father is the most precious member of your family. <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> sorry, look at that video again of the, little, the dog saying, I'm sorry. Are you looking for pipeline plans? Hard to find them. Sorry. Um, all right, so that's, again, that's the serious news. That guy's uh, going to go to jail. Again, don't be a shithead. This is like the second time I've been on side stories and there's like someone who mutilated their parents because they are losers. Yeah. It's very awful. It seems like it's just happening all the time. It's a common occurrence. I, I would say in terms of getting decapitated as a parent, it's often by your loser child. <laughs> you know, if you're getting yeah, decapitated. It's been a while since we've had Vlad the Impaler around. But Vlad well, the he Impaler. Really, he was an Impaler. He didn't really chop anyone's heads off. Actually, a lot of it's pretty exaggerated. Really, Vlad yeah, the Impaler? Yeah, we went to do an episode series on Vlad the Impaler. We wanted to do it, but really just gets into the sort of like the rumor machinations of the yeah. Hungarian military from the 1600s. And oh. it's like, fucking bury me alive. Turns this is out not he had asthma and he was Vlad the Inhaler. <laughs> you like this? <laughs> so would you like your Patreon dollars to go towards? <laughs> Which one? Um, okay. <laughs> right. So we got a couple other things. <laughs> Here we go. See, we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of show. No, I wish I was a bat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Termina, I've traveled oceans of time. See you. <laughs> Vlad the Impaler is Jewish. Fly <laughs> <laughs> from your grave. All right, here we go. So now, this this flooded my inbox. Okay. There are certain things I again I love our fucking community. Like this week, because we're going to cover it a little bit on this week. On, um, so I'm going to message this to you now. So on last podcast on the left, I I booked work. Oh, really? Doesn't pay anything and I have to pay my way through, but it's a fun opportunity. Great. So my schedule gets fucked and you don't get paid? Yes. But I am going to be in Atlanta this week. And so we're about to start these very two very big series in a row. And so we're going to wait one more week. Because I am going to be in Atlanta this week and we want to be in the studio. Yeah. Hot potatoes, ready to fucking shoot and reload and shoot all over each other. Okay. Right? Uh, but since then, I've got all of these messages of really, really insightful uh, people talking about the Natalia Grace case that we okay. just talked about. So I'm going to... Uh, so this week, I've been haunted by it, to yeah, be honest with we're you. We're going to talk about what I learned. There's a lot that what we learned. But the... Yeah. One of the other things, that's why I love our audience. Our audience, like, just knows a bunch of shit. I don't got to do jack dick. Hell Because yeah. you guys are smart. It means a lot. Thank mm -hmm. you, everybody. But so this guy. Shout out NASA. But this also flooded my inbox. Was it Natalia Grace herself? <laughs> no. Okay. She has yet to show. Um, no, this is just as important and just as real as what Natalia Grace went through. Okay. Look at this baby alien found in a garden. Whoa! Now, several Whoa, people have that found looks this. looks amazing. Now, there are a lot of people that sent me pictures of this. What is, I assume. That's a big head. It is a, it's a baby alien that was found in somebody's garden. And yeah, it looks like a fetus that believed in itself. Um, but it is an alien baby. The OP people who posted it, there was a, there was somebody had posted it on Reddit. They immediately had their stuff. Um, they, they, they're got it all taken down. The men in black are trying to shut the people down. Yeah. Talking about this. Um, they had, apparently there was a, this is from user Quincy Jumbo on Reddit. Uh, I received a message from a friend with this original picture attached yesterday saying her mom's friend found this thing in her garden. She was 80 years old, found this alien baby, right? Wanted to ask about it, but then she was so was it loose or rigor mortis. Was it jellied? Yeah. You're saying jellied or stiff? Yeah. I haven't heard that. Okay. It's looking stiff. Okay. Um, but they Can I see it again? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Look at it. It's got a little nose. It's just like a little It's glimpse. got little eyes. It's got a head. It's got little ear holes. And it's got a long umbilical cord. It's got two spindly arms. And it's cute. And it's... And I it think is it, kind of cute. It's cute and it's fun. Is it a breast? I think it's... Yep. Wow, there are little tits. 
Yeah. Why is there little tits on that? I don't think it's an alien. I think it's just some deformed Montauk monster creature. <laughs> I don't know. But so this image, the, uh, the lady went and then posted it. Did it come to- out of her? <laughs> Was she holding this in her for decades? Oh, my God. The abortion (laughs) never took. Oh, I knew I felt something swimming around in there. Every once in a while, I'd be like, do I want chicken parm tonight in here? Actually, we're feeling where the tone. You're like, oh, I'm a- <laughs> wait a second. Uh, but no, my uh, two lips ruined my two lips. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so she said that she posted it to this old lady. Where is the red. actual body? It's in it's in Juilliard, England. But does who's seen the body? This these people. But have the cops seen the body? Have the fucking they they showed it to the fuck, who the 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 you know James Bond people? This they is see, on the mushroom Reddit subreddit. Not even the hallucinogenic mushroom. This is it was like mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. No, but no one's actually seen the body. No, there's no doctor here. There's no there's no. I want to see someone here. holding it. Like what they do with it? You left it in the garden. Left it there? Yeah, they got to. What, for like a raccoon to find? I don't know. You know what? I don't know. This might be a raccoon. I'm going to say you right now, there hasn't been a lot of follow-up. Yeah. The uh, the alien was posted, right? I'm saying the alien baby was posted. Mm-hmm. The old lady then was like, oh, what is this? She put it on the mushroom subreddit so she could see if it was some kind of mushroom or fungus growing in her, gar- or in her backyard. Yes. People then started tearing her to pieces on the internet saying how dare she shut things down and that she's a part of the government and she's a CIA shill and she doesn't want people to know about the alien in her backyard that well, she showed Well, how do we know people. it's a baby? It could be a full grown, It could be a full-grown alien. You're actually, you're right. It has tits. It might be. Babies a, don't have tits. That might be the hottest alien we've ever seen and we don't know. That's, it's, it's the only alien we've Honestly, ever seen. That could be right there. That's the that Angelina Jolie. That years old for what we oh, know. Oh yeah, look at the swinging tits Yoda on was small. No idea. We don't know if it's got a snapping pussy or if it had a butthole right before it was fucking completely deteriorated by time. We don't know, all right? The original posters, they've taken all this down, all right? But they're saying that the 80-year-old woman is not, coming forward with this information quickly enough. Oh, yeah, right. she's taking her time? Yes, but they deleted it. They took it all down, but I I'm saying this is big. Found I and saw it's a mushroom. Mushrooms? Do I put it in the sauce? Ow. Ah. <laughs> Why can't I be with my husband? Where is my husband? Federal penitentiary for <laughs> rape and murder. <laughs> We don't know if that's true. That's allegedly, allegedly. I don't allegedly, know. Allegedly. I don't know anything allegedly. about her. She could be single. She could be a lesbian. Um, but everyone's saying here that obviously she's being run down. She's been, the men in black are shutting her also, down. Also, this They're isn't a garden. It. This isn't a garden. What do you mean it's not a garden? It's like shittily grown grass. There's that's what nothing. Marcus has in his garden. No, no, no. That's like. This sh- is the UK. That, these are weeds. Yeah, this is the UK. That's these what they the consider There's plants. nothing here that is. A, anything that can grow and be edible. They think clouds are a sunny day in London. You know what I mean? They don't know. But they eat food. Yeah, but it's kind of gray. Like the apples, alien. Are, the apples are brown. The potatoes are red. I think this is a deformed person. The uh, bananas are green. fell out of a person. Yeah, yeah. This might be a straight up. This might be a Lucy. That's what it's called back in the day. You know that? Oh, yeah. And if a fetus becomes unmoored and just slides out your pussy, it's called a Lucy. That's fucked up for all the Lucy's in the world. Yeah. Well, you know, it's spelled L O O S E Y. Yeah. yeah. It's something fun. It doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. Loose Lucy. Yeah. But if your name's Lucy and you spell it L O O S E Y, you're probably waving Selling to people cigarettes. in front of a Walmart. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not the same. <laughs> but no, this guy is definitely, um, it's an alien and uh, they're trying to shut it down. And I hope that it finds a home. But I hope where it doesn't go is the Ukrainian orphanages that I was told about this week. Because guess what? Not they, a happy place. No. A lot of people said that too, because I asked on the last episode of last podcast yes. and left, is there any such thing as a happy Ukrainian orphanage? No. Or a Romanian orphanage that's nice. And they said no. Do we still have orphanages in America? I feel like we're done with orphanages. Do we still have orphanages? I don't think they I don't you know, I could I, I might be an idiot. If we have orphanages, wouldn't it be cool to do a comedy tour? All orphanage. Just to the orphanages. Yeah. Fun? Orphanages in the United States have almost disappeared. Yeah, they Since have the not 1960s. been. So now what do they do? do it's they the foster just, system. Do we just band them together into Korean-style pop groups? <laughs> That's a really good way. I guess TikTok stopped orphans. Yeah. Because now they have something to do. 
You know, they, <laughs> they dance. They, yeah, shit. they do stuff. They become the Kia kids. Have you heard of the Kia kids? No, I haven't. It's a very heard of boomer. It's a kids. boomer fear. The idea that kids are learning how to steal Kias on TikTok. Who cares? I mean, people who have Kias. Yeah, but you know. But I'm saying it's. I feel like it's the same. Probably worth more than you know. Then you can get a car that's not a Kia if it gets stolen. Yeah, but what if you got to get those organs to downtown, Mm -hmm. or Patrick Ewing's gonna die? Well, first of all, you're gonna need something bigger than a Kia if you're holding Patrick Ewing's organs. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) You got then you're in a you're in a you're in a clutch position. You got the yeah. You, I yeah, no you, one. You need like an F three fifty. Yeah, you might. You might need a Hummer. <laughs> um, but yeah, the Kia kids are out there. You know, kids are like they're, they're forming gangs of pickpockets. And honestly, I feel like that's what keeps kids together. I I don't think this is enough proof to make me feel like this is an alien. This no, thing, it's this not. thing could have made, been made in a three D printer. Uh, as Eddie, far as I'm concerned, you're right. I'm just going to say straight up that you're right. Uh, this is the truth section of the story where I say it is probably just the thing. But me as me, capital H, Henry, capital Z, Zabrowski, that's an alien baby. I want that 80-year-old woman arrested. I want to find out where her fucking husband is. And let's fucking wrap it up. Send me the baby. Yeah. Send me the baby. I'll adopt it. Also, you plant, put it in fertilizer. You already, it's your garden. It's not a garden, by the way. It's just a bunch of shitty it's, grass. It's grass. That is it's grass. It's not even grass. Don't attack these people's gardens. It's not even grass. There's no reason to attack the person's garden. Look at garden. that. That's not grass. It's just grass. Those it's look clover. like shitty little, little that's lily pads. Clover. I believe that's clover. That looks like stuff that shows up and you're like, oh, good. I don't have to plant more grass because this shit makes people think it's grass. That's UK salad. That's what they eat. You think so? Yeah, they got no greenery over there. They're eating pine cones and they're drinking eel oil. I'm sorry, guys. No wonder they're so hammered. It's a great place. It's a cultured place. But the greens there look like that. They have a place called Slug and Worms. Mm. Something like that. Isn't it called like Slug and Leaf? Side stories, LPOTL, gmail.com. Why do you guys like Slug and Leaf? This place is fucking, it's actually kind of nice, but it's got a terrible name. I wish I could eat some slugs. Slug and lettuce. Slug and lettuce. It's a terrible chain in the UK, but delicious food. Terrible name. It's a cocktail bar. It's a great. Okay. It's great, though. I've been there a couple it's times. It's not a salad shop? No, but they do like a nice salad. They do a nice salad in there. But you get, why are you putting a slug on there? Yeah. I used to be a salad boy, and one time I served- well, You had a salad last night. I did have a salad last night. Yeah, well, I was eating I pasta. Had, I had two salads, I'm actually. proud of you. I had two salads. That's how I get through it. You yeah. just eat, order a second salad. Yeah, you got a layer. It's like a parfait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one with beets mm. and burrata. Yeah, you did really good. Yeah, I was really proud of you. But there was ham on the salad. Yeah, but it's different. That's I will for say flavor. that. I will say- what am I eating the salad for if there's no fucking ham on it? Ham, 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 ham. But that's, yeah, you can't be blamed for that. That's called your fuel. Yeah. The ham is fuel. I had to, you know, if you're going to get me to eat lettuce, cover it in ham. Yeah. You're going to get me to eat ham, cover it in lettuce. You ever eat ham salad? Ham salad I'm not into. Dude, it's so good. I'm not into it. I know I'm what it is. I'm bring some though. home from, I'm going to Cincy this weekend. It's funny that I'm I'll bring like, some home from but there. I'll eat pimento cheese, which I like. Yeah. But it's basically, pimento cheese is essentially the ham salad of cheese. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ham salad's good as fuck, dude. See, ham salad, who actually now? I go to this place in mm. Cincinnati. Shout out to Bridgetown Meats and then ham salad at Bridgetown Meats. Bring me some ham. Bring me some ham salad. Can you actually, I don't know if that can travel. I might, well, who knows? I'll be able to figure something out. I'll talk to I order a ham salad in a restaurant in LA, they're going to give me a little kid. No, no, you can't. No, this is, this is like a Midwest food. You can't get the ham salad here. No, no, no. No, there's too many people. It's against their religion. It's kind of like a savory pudding. Yeah. This is religion in Cincinnati. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then hmm. yeah, that's not good though. No, it's gonna kill you. Oh, for sure. Just like no, that's why I only get like half a pint whenever I go to Cincinnati three times a year, and then I snort it. (laughs) Half a fucking (laughs) pint. (laughs) Remember, Eddie, this is all the ham salad you're gonna be able to get this quarter. I want more. So I know, but I'm just remembering you, Eddie. Okay, (laughs) this is all the ham salad we're gonna get. Half a pint. Yeah, that's it. And we're cutting ourselves off. Four ounces. That's enough. Yeah. Because then it equates to, if you get it once a quarter, that's a pound a year. Yeah. We know what thing. I'm not eating as much bread as I used to. And so now I'm just eating spoonfuls of ham salad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's worse. I don't know what's going to lead you to the wheelchair faster. It's main line in that shit. Mm, yum, yum. Yes. Honestly, defy all expectations, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to make sure this Lipitor is working. Yeah, man. Why are you taking it? Yeah. If there's no point. <laughs> that's how I feel. I put myself in anxious situations. I'm on Zola. Yeah, so now man. it's like, I'm running, I'm dodging, I'm in and out of traffic just to get my heart rate up. Oh, maybe we shouldn't kill the fentanyl people. Why? Because they probably make Lipitor, too, and I need that. 
Yeah. That's the problem. That's the whole, the whole overall, hold overall of uh, society. Yeah. Also, fentanyl is supposed to be used, I believe, as a medical grade uh, anesthesia. Yeah. I believe. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, let's do this one other. This is a story that I don't even know if we should end on the story because this story fucking makes me really angry. Okay. Um, this is to paraphrase the Norm McDonald joke. Murder in California has been named legal again. Remember that? Yeah, like for the, the OJ. For the OJ. California woman receives no prison time for stabbing date 108 times and setting a terrible precedent because this woman, who is named by the name of Bryn Spetcher, faced four years in prison. Four after, years? Yes. After Ventura County jury convicted her of involuntary manslaughter. That's 25 stabs a year. It is just, I, I, which honestly, we should be all allowed then. We should, should all be, like be per allowed. Per year, per stab. You get, I feel like one's a lot. Yeah. You know, if you can stab somebody once legally a year, I think that's a lot. Well, you still get a year. Yes. You still get a full year. You get one whole year. Uh, but this guy, so if they're saying that she did it due to a cannabis-induced psychotic disorder. Oh, fuck you. So the, I think Weed does it, not it, need this. I just don't know. It is setting a really bad precedent. Um, they said that she was, quote, unquote, involuntary intoxicated when she killed Chad Omalia, insisting that she, he pressured her into taking a, quote, unquote, third hit from a bong. Hit from the bong! Right? Then, the 32-year-old fell into a drug-induced, dissociative, fugue-like state after a, quote, unquote, adverse reaction to the weed and stabbed Chad Amelia repeatedly before turning the knife on herself. She also stabbed her dog to death. Now, the reason why they're saying she went into some form of unconsciousness because was she because stabbed she stabbed the dog, which is hilarious. Because they were like, because she was known for her love of animals. I mean, like, she killed a guy. Yeah. But they're all like, yeah, yeah, people kill boyfriends. Fuck yeah. That's what boyfriends are for. You got to fucking kill your boyfriend. It's like, hold on. So this woman, the judge is like, she stabbed her boyfriend 108, 108 times. times. But she also stabbed her dog a bunch, mm. so maybe we should let her go. That's actually kind of crazy, right? If you think about it. This judge hates dogs. I feel like it's one of those things where he's like, finally. One less dog. <laughs> what if they made her a dog catcher? <laughs> like, oh you're God. just like, you're just like, all right, now you're a dog catcher. <laughs> stab him. I stab him. Um, that's a gr love your energy, yeah. but we're trying to just catch him. Officers arrived to find Chad Molia. He was in a pool of blood, and Spetcher was screaming hysterically. They tasered and struck Spetcher several times with a baton okay. before disarming her. Um, they said that she appeared possessed. And uh, I feel like it's a really bad idea. Is she drug tested? Like, is it just weed? It was I've just seen, weed. I have seen people flip out on weed. I'm not saying that weed, weed is still a psychoactive substance. Yes. It does fuck with people's brains. It does make you, there's some people that shouldn't smoke weed. Yes. I completely agree. Absolutely. We got a buddy, I've like, he smokes weed and like, we got to go find him. Yes. I know those guys. I yeah. know those guys. Uh, but it's, that's not what this is. I just feel like it's really crazy. I don't know. If she got I, drunk and did it, she'd be in prison. Every single drug I've ever done. Because, like, yes, I have not done cocaine as my did cocaine one time, right? But I've done a lot of hallucinogens and I've done a lot of downers and I've done yeah. a lot of weed. I know it's I'm awesome, right? Yeah. I'm fucking I'm really cool. Mm -hmm. I'm like sliced alone. Yeah. And I He had you know, a rough week. Shout out Carl Weathers. Oh, yeah, poor Carl Weathers. Yeah. Yeah. Carl Weathers had a rough week. Yes, yeah. You know what I mean? Sliced alone's fine. Yeah. You've seen the documentary? Yeah, I saw a good portion of it. Yeah, he's so, he's so fucking full of shit. He really is. He's so funny. Um, but he, All hopped up on Ivermectin. He's just absolutely, yeah, he's going, <laughs> he's like <laughs> drinking out of water bottles and like drinking out of water dishes and shit. Um, but I, uh, I, the idea that you go into a fugue state, they've argued fugue states over many things. They yeah. talk about it with borderline personality disorder. They talk about certain things. The idea that someone would slide into, you know what that is? Like the idea that basically you black out, mm -hmm. but your body's been doing stuff for a period of time. Yeah. And on and off, people have been found guilty and not guilty for crimes associated with the fugue states. We were talking a little bit about the idea of sleepwalking crimes. Yeah. Where like that one guy went to jail for life. Because, but they still said, because the defense was saying it was a sleepwalking murder, that he stabbed his girlfriend, same thing, like like wife or girlfriend, but stabbed her dozens of times, nearly decapitated her, woke up screaming, wondering what the hell was going on. They he, they threw the 
book at this motherfucker. Yeah. Right. We're like this guy, this lady gets off in this cannabis induced fugue state side stories, LPOTL at gmail.com. I have, please. I know that people have had adverse effects on weed and they do pass out and they do things do happen, but has anyone ever been so deep into a drug? that you have woken up and not truly known what you've done. If Mostly it's coke, alcohol, I see that. Yeah, if she right? was on acid, they'd put her in prison. Why are they letting her go for weed? I don't know. I don't know. Because the idea that, like, they're trying to set up this idea that there's a, such a thing as cannabis-induced psychosis. But I just feel like, how many times I've been in the throes of, like, tripping really, really hard, and while I'm in one world, I, do, I am also sort of outside of the world. You yeah. know what I mean? Where, like, I am... You can see I'm, yourself. I can see myself. I know that I'm... Yeah. On drugs. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm, that's how you deal with it. Whenever you start flipping out, you remind yourself, oh, I'm on drugs. But I would love to know side stories, LPOTL at gmail.com. Have you ever been in a fugue state? And uh, can you get a magnet there? And I'd love to find out because that's what I do when I travel from state. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hmm. West Virginia is a fugue state. It's a fugue state. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that's a really upsetting story because I think it's going to set a bad precedent. Yeah. First of all, like, it, it, weed, it doesn't need this. No. We're trying to get it legal right now. I mean, they're doing it full. The Congress is, I'm thinking Grandpa Joe might do it. He, if he came out tomorrow and Let said, if clear. you reelect me, I will make weed legal, he would win. Somebody ask me if I'm holding. And the answer is going to be absolutely, of course I am. Let me be clear. It's absolutely true. I'm holding. I'm holding myself up. My head is actually far heavier than it looks. Yeah. Um, but, you know, the, this guy, like, I, 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 they could. We could get it this year. That'd be great. We make a lot of money. Please. And also Last Prisoner Project, we're working. We still continue to are a partner with Last Prisoner them. Project. And we love the idea of getting people out of jail for crimes associated with weed. Because now this woman's got, gotten away with actual fucking murder. People are in jail longer for smoking weed than, than this lady. she is for getting high and murdering somebody. I just don't know, man. That doesn't maybe make any I'm a, sense. I, I Someone please explain it to me because I don't understand how you prove a fugue state. And the way, and I guess the way they are proving it is that she stabbed the dog to death. But my question is, is that why not? In my mind, to me, she's stabbing the dog to death. They'll look how crazy I am. That I, is like what she's doing. You know what I want? You want to prove it to me? Fucking smoke this blunt right now. You're in the middle of this courtroom. We got a bunch of fucking bailiffs around. All right, here we go. Here's an axe. You're cuffed. All right, we got yeah, an axe yeah, yeah. here. We got a rapier here. We've yeah. got this stuff here, right? I want to see. Actually, you, you prove it to me. Oh, we got some moon rocks. Flip out. Yeah. This shit's fucking 36 fucking percentile THC brew. All yeah, right, let's see you what can you see got. see the fucking crystallines on there. It's got some nice gnarly fucking purpley hairs on there, dog. You want to fire it up? We'll fucking get a dab I going. I want to see how good her acting is. If she starts foaming at the mouth and starts like banging her head against the ground, you know, they would give her some fucking treats and she'll be better. But like, apparently then- people say though, that they, they find that us playing with humans, like their dogs in court, people get angry. Whatever. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> you can't do the axiom of what's it. The, uh, the idea of like, when you see your, your son smoking and you make him smoke the whole pack. Yeah. We could do that. Yeah. And with weed, it would just be a great night. Yeah, man. This fucking sounds awesome. Yeah, like, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. We got to smoke the whole bag. Oh, we got five. Oh, my God. We got your stash bag. <laughs> All right, dude. That yeah, is the, to- I'm so upset. That is the one thing I'm sad about not having kids is being able to steal their weed. Oh, don't worry. We'll steal our friend's kid's weed. Yeah, like when Cena's kid like, gets We're, weed. They're going to be scoring us the new stuff. Yeah. When Wicked Spaghetti hits the fucking streets, mm-hmm. we're going to ask Hero. Yeah, They're absolutely. like, what's this wicked spaghetti about? How do we get some? Yeah. But he's going to be getting into I bet you by the time that we're at there, when our friends' kids are getting up there, they're going to go all into like, they're going to really have finally figured out binaural beats. Binaural beats? You know what binaural beats are? Is that just like sound that makes you like high? Stoned? That's kind of cool. It doesn't do it. I've been listening to Hawaiian music. I feel like that helps. <laughs> yeah, it's because you're, well, you're smoking weed while you're listening. <laughs> absolutely. <to it. laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, man. That's, that's, that's sweet. And now you just have a state specific memory. That's right. Man. Each time you fucking listen to wire music, you just listen to wire music and be like, man, I was still in the last time I heard this, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels a lot like that. Yeah, man. I love that shit. Oana. Live from your grave. All right, let's hear it. Let's uh, let's get some listener emails. What are people saying to us? What do you mean? What are I, what are, you said listener emails and I said, what are people saying to us? Now I understand. So we get a little bit of stuff back on the haunted dolls. Uh, I will oh, say, they say I got a lot of people with several true more than more than I more than one 
did did Robert write back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being like, fuck you, bitch. I've come I pretty- served in the military. What did you do? Yeah, I don't believe what you said is true. You come here, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> it's you come wording. to Key West, you I catch you slipping in Key West, I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh shit. I got fucking <laughs> pulling my card in Key West. So but the the haunted dolls, uh they said they have uh, several listeners have reported becoming cursed. Oh really? After listening to our After series. just listening. Yes. Nothing's they, happened to me. Good people looking up pictures of Peggy, Robert, one listener nearly shit their pants. It's awesome. Well, they sound unhealthy. No, they, they nearly someone, listen. Someone needs some blood work. No, they they nearly shit their pants. That has happened <laughs> to all of us. All right. And I love them for yeah. that. Because you know what? That takes vulnerability. Maybe they have worms. Check the shit. Yeah. Check you know, your if shit it's for if worms. it's writhing around, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then one got a, their car stuck in the snow. A few listeners got migraines, headaches, and dizziness. And again, that might be something about to do with dehydration. Yeah. But at the same time, Robert Dahl did it. And you need to go apologize to him. Yeah. Well, yeah. For even about, listening to us. Like, if you were screaming about him, I mean, like, luckily he was, he was, you know, when I didn't call him Robert, I think he knew that that wasn't, that was a mistake. He knows you're new. Yeah, I'm new. Yeah, yeah. you don't know this stuff yet. By the way, I talked to my friend who went and saw Robert the Doll yeah. since we did the episode. And they were like, I I couldn't take a picture, but like they like they like they said they could see him whenever they closed their eyes. Yeah, it's freaky, stuff. man. Yeah, yeah, Going yeah, in yeah. there too is freaky. You're walking into this vestibule of a home that is ran by a haunted doll. You haven't been there yet. No, I want to go. I would love to go. I've never been to Key West. Key West is a lot of fun. I want to go. Yeah. We should go. Be careful uh at the rooftop Garden of Eden bar. Bunch of naked old people. Oh, but that's why me be careful. I was like, oh, Garden of Eden. That sounds like fun. And I went up there. I was like, oh, I'm the, oh, young, there's balls. I'm the youngest person here. And I have clothes. You know, but I like their freedom. Yeah. That's not bad. Like, I want to see this. That's actually not bad. Yeah, it's a rooftop bar. Oh, yeah. They are naked. A rooftop bar. Yeah, wow, just, look at that. There's some, that is some, that is a mature woman. It's just, yeah, it's just. I like that, though. I like that. Honestly, you were selling me on this. No, I think. Because it, my it, algorithm it has good, decided it, I love gilfs. It was a good time. Don't get me wrong. You know, I put, I took my shirt off. I can hang out with these people. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that guy's dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of penises Wow, they just, they're, lots they're, of, more, yeah, lots of breasts. She's tight. Yeah. They're keeping it tight. Well, you know, these, you know, also, it's a lot of people who, you know, come in town. They're like, okay, I guess if I'm Key West. Yeah, I'll, I'll show my dick and balls to a bunch of people while I'm eating conk fritters. Yeah, exactly. I'm not, yeah, you're not going, you know, you're not going to see these people at the Ralph's, you know. You do, but well, they have clothes on. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's a good vacation thing. Yeah, see naked people when you're out of town. Mm-hmm. And see clothed people when you're in town. Yeah. Um, it did not look like a garden. No. Either. No, no, it doesn't. Yeah. No, 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 no. But there were like a, a couple of guys that looked like that little alien. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See a couple of guys whose dick and balls look like the little alien. Thing. <laughs> All right, here we go. No, this is called the Chungus. The Chungus? Yes. Tell me about it. I live in South End, Essex in the UK. South End is at the mouth of the Thames River and has huge mud flats. What are you bragging? <laughs> Our local cryptid is Chungus, a swamp man who looks made up of kelp. However, he could be a person in a kelp gilly suit. Very much deliverance in nature. I couldn't tell you his size or shape or height because it's always at a glance. I imagine he's six foot. When in the water, never seeing more than his head and shoulders. Oh, so this guy's seen him all the time, he says. I want to see this. I'm going to look this up. Chungus. This guy says the Chungus Among Us. See, I've heard of the big Chungus is a is a um, type of internet meme. Fat Bugs Bunny. Thing. It's a Fat Bugs Big Chungus is a, is a meme. Okay. I heard it from my parents with all my friends. I have memories of being out in the mud flats, going out to paddleboard, swim, and surf. Sounds beautiful. Yeah. The landscape is bizarre because it gets very quiet. And no one is out there, so usually it's isolated and in the sun because you only do it on the hottest days. It becomes quiet and very still. Think like a mud tundra. It's very, very flat. <laughs> what a beautiful beach. Just brown mud. Love that country. <laughs> we all have these <laughs> memories of being out there. Usually when you isolate yourself from the group and far off in the distance, a humanoid figure gets up and runs parallel to yourself. I don't think two people have ever actually seen Chungus, but everyone gets a bit weird when you've been out all day. It especially gets heavy when racing the tide when it's coming in. You can see him pop up and then dive into the solid flat mud and pop up somewhere else. This is dangerous when if you stray from paths or known routes, you can get stuck in deep, deep mud. You hear people freaking out running, saying that they're being chased by a kelp monster or a naked seaweed man. Please, please advise not going out on the mud flats. 
It is super dangerous if you don't know what you're doing because there's special paths, no water, and this tide comes in very quickly and you can get cut off so easily. Loads of people have to get saved and they're always casualties. Be scared of the mud. We talked about mud, a while. We be got scared into, of mud. Yeah. Remember we talked about how mud's bad? Yeah. For weeks we talked about how mud was well, bad. Well, now I can't even walk my... It's been raining out here in LA. I can't walk Rambo. He's got his fragile little ankles. Yeah. And he can't get in the mud. No, our dogs have uh, pissed and shit in the house the last two days. I'm trying. I got pee-pee. I got floor diapers. Yes, we did the same thing. They're just openly shit in the house and they're loving it. Yeah. And it is sad because we got to get them out of the fucking house. Yeah, they're getting too used to it. Yes. Now, you can also find him watching you from the reeds when out kayaking among, around the reeds. He bobs along watching. Then when you look again, he disappears. I've also pe- heard people looking over their boats and paddle boards and kayaks into the murky water and being face to face below the water with his staring up through the water. So he travels in the mud. He's a mudman. So there's always people who freak out after being grabbed or touched under the muddy, murky surface of the seawater, hand on your ankle, a tap on the back. I'm a very confident swimmer, however. I freaked out swimming and feeling a brush or a wrap or something move past, literally hauling ass in panic as an adult man because of a Kelpie tug to the foot. Now, this is very interesting. So I wonder. I actually wonder because I'm looking up Chongus. No one's heard of Essex. Chungus. I have not heard anybody else talk about it. Please, side stories, LPO, Magnus Taylor, Gmail. Chungus. Let us know if you've seen him. It's the, the Chungus. Sounds like, you ever seen Never Ending Story 2? Like, yes. the, the guys who travel underground. Oh, yeah. It's like one of them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that does sound familiar. But I've never seen anybody else. Yeah, Big Chungus. Big Chungus was not in Space Jam. Chungus, <laughs> a very large or overweight person. People calling Chungus that. Um, yeah, I just remember the guy with the with the mini crystal balls and that kid who committed suicide. Yeah. All right, here we go. So the um, Jonathan Brandis. Yes, and here we'll have one more little letter here. I don't know if I believe in the chungus. I feel like this person made it up. We'll find out. Side story. It's lpltl at gmail.com. Okay. Several years ago, while well in college, I did part time janitorial work at an elementary school. I was always the last person in the building and had the responsibility of ensuring all doors were locked. The school itself was old and creepy. This wasn't helped by the fact that it was often dark before I finished. I often heard what sounded like footsteps when I knew no one else was in the building. The school had a chain that I locked across the entrance of the parking lot each night to prevent people from parking there. Okay. I've been watching the first season of True Detective. Yeah. I think this school was in that. I always did this last as I was leaving. So one night I had finished my work and I went off to a parking lot to lock the entrance when I noticed a car sitting in the middle of the lot. This car had not been there when I arrived for work. I could see what appeared to be a woman sitting in the driver's seat, so I started walking over to tell her to leave. As I approached, she didn't even acknowledge me. She was sitting still, looking straight through the windshield with the engine on. There was no one else in the car. I pulled out the giant mag light I'd carried for protection as well as light and shined it in her direction. Still no reaction from her. I approached a driver's side window with the flashlight shining right on the side of her face. Admittedly, I was super creeped out at this point. As I got within five feet of the window, she abruptly turned her head and looked right at me. She had a blank expression on her face, but her eyes were completely black. She then let out this loud, guttural scream. Maybe it was like... I think more like that. You got to have the the more like that. Yeah, like a fake That's person. Yeah. I can't blow my voice. <laughs> it's got to be more That's like that. Good. Thank yeah. you. No problem. I walked backwards away from the car and she just turned back facing the windshield with no expression. I let the chain unlock that night and I went home. I never saw the car or the woman again. I still question whether it was just someone having a bad day, but I will never forget the blank look on her face, the black eyes and the scream. It still sends a chill down my spine just thinking about it. I'm not sure what I saw that night, but I don't want to see it again. Did did she leave? I tell you, it sounds like that she left. They're black eyed kids is a phenomena that we've covered a little bit on last podcast and left. Mm-hmm. And basically, it's kids that like knock on your door. They're like they look like kids, yeah. and when you open the door, they have pitch black eyes and they curse you. Do they have con- it's it's like contacts? No, yeah. no, 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 no. A lot of times they're just orphans. This is what happens. What happened when we shut down all the orphanages? Oh, Village of the Damned. Yeah, they all have black eyes. Black eyes. I love Village of the Damned. Yes, and this is a but the, it, black eyed children are very creepy. But I've heard of black eyed women, black eyed men. Um, not just out of the UFC match, but literally like walking around being very, very scary. I would say straight up, you don't understand the power of divorce and how devastating it can be. Yeah. So maybe this woman is just fucking 
uh, about to die yeah, from just grief be, and yeah. anger. And she could have been in some shadows. In she just could have been upset. Yeah. You know what I mean? She could have been a De Lions fan. Yeah. Man, there's unhealthy. I feel so bad for You know what I mean? Guys. Very disappointed. Oh, my God. Very disappointed. Yeah. And so you never know. You don't Fuck know. Fuck the Niners. Fuck the Niners. <laughs> Fuck both of them. <laughs> hmm. All right. So we did it. Side stories. Wow. It was Absolutely. nice. Absolutely. It's just good to hang with you, buddy. I we've, love it. We've been spending a lot of time. The um we, we saw live music three times this week by accident. We every did. time. Went to the Dresden, which yeah. was incredible. Had the so smoke much smokehouse. Went to the smokehouse, my favorite places on the face of the fucking planet. And the martini room at the at the We Vitalis. don't normally go. I've not gone out this much in a while. Yeah. But we're having a blast. It was, it was nice. so nice. We got classy. Yeah. We went out there. So live every day. Make a plans with your friends. Mm-hmm. I think it's important to do. Make a plan with your friend. And you stick to that plan. Stick to it. Right. And you go out there and you're going to love hanging out, knowing that I have engaged socially. Yeah. I have stuck to a plan, which means I'm a dependable person. Yes. Right. I'm a go-to guy. Mm -hmm. That's what people say about me. Go-to guy. Yeah. Right. Mr. Fix-It, people call me. I don't think they call you. Oh, yeah. No, You people call me Mr. Fix-It all the time. No one. But what have you fixed? They call me Dr. Feelgood. Other than yourself. (laughs) (laughs) I, I, my cum could be viable. You think so? I don't. I don't think so. You know, I always joke. I think I'm pretty sterile. Yeah. 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 I smoke a lot of weed. I mean, I feel like I smoke a lot of weed. I do a lot of diva squats. Yeah. And yoga, and it crushes my balls a lot. Yeah. You know, I don't always sit down. I work standing up. I feel like uh, a lot of the times when you're sitting down so long and it's hot out, you know, you just end up like cooking your fucking nuts like they're a bunch of eggs. I used to drive around with just my phone on my balls. Oh, I put my phone under my balls and I sit on it all the time. All the time. So that's just nuking them. But I just think all I'm doing is going to make another Stephen Miller. Yes. That's the bad part is Mm -hmm. you make school shooters that way. I think You have to be careful with that. Yeah. Yeah. Because all the information, 5G. Yes, they know too much. Yeah, it's too much. Your, your semen becomes black belt, and you don't want that to happen to him. Uh, but then you're gonna you're gonna love being independent, and then you're gonna laugh at your friends. Yeah, all right. Because think about this, friend. We're all orphans. Once our parents are all dead, that's right. And so we're our own parents. So mm-hmm. we gotta hang out together. My parents are still alive. Yeah, mine are dead. Though. Mine, yeah, mine are. I'm got. I gotta deal with that. I'm a 42 year old orphan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and you and just like, and you're just like, like Annie. Everyone's like, oh, it was, it was like, you know, like I got it, you know, I'm done. I don't have to deal with that. Yeah, no, I know, I am upset, knowing that I have it coming yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got it. I wrapped that shit. I think my mom could live. I think my mom's gonna live a long time. Your mom's got some time. Yeah, because of sp- spite. Yeah, she'll live forever. Yeah, your mom. You know I mean, your mom's got a whole all kinds of time. My father's just just forgetting to die. That's how he talks about it. Honestly, I can't believe he's still around, and I love him for it. He's doing great. It he's just shows. Still, he's still hilarious. But Zabrowski DNA is strong. Yeah. We're strong, stalwart. I got my mother's tits. I got my father's attitude. Yeah. Man, my, my Uncle Albie, that dude fucking lived forever. Oh, of course. You know, just uh, unhealthy. But did he, he just, did he, could, he, like, he had developmental problems, too? I don't think so. I don't think I don't think he had mental problems. He didn't tell the truth all the time. But um, he, uh, you know, nothing. I would say him a storyteller. Yeah, but he was like in a bed for the last like eight years of his life, and you know that's impressive. That's like Charlie Bucket's grandfather. Who's Charlie Bucket from uh, the Billy Wonka and the Chocolate oh, Factory? Oh yes, yes. His last name's Bucket. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that. Yeah, maybe all he needed was a golden ticket. That's right. He could have got that. He could have gotten. But I think that candy is what put him in the bed in the first place. You never know. So guys, um, yeah, Charlie Bucket. I there hated that. I hated the new kid. God, I hate that little fucking kid. I hate the fucking. I hate his little eyes. The not. I love the original Charlie Bucket. What's his name? The new one. I hate that little kid. Uh, you like What's the original face? one? The original one looks like he's crying. But you know, I like him. But he wasn't a real actor. What's his name? What's the name of the other kid who's got like ventriloquist dummy eyes? I don't know. The new one or the young one? The new one. The he new looks one? like a little fucking. Looks like Pinocchio, and it frightens me. I hate this Freddie Highmore. Freddie Highmore. Yeah, he creeps me out. I hate that little kid. He he's needs got a to great go away. Name. He needs to be an adult soon. I think he is. He creeps me out. Oh, he's an adult now? Yeah. Gee, holy fucking shit. He's born over 20 years. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Well, it's been a great side stories. Um, and we will see you this week and every week for the rest of your lives. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I we'll promo stuff this week. I don't know what else we got. TikTok. Last podcast, I love TikTok. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. It's going. There's stuff on there. It's out there. Someone's editing it. Yeah. So go look at that stuff. It's great. Twitch. This comes out on Wednesday, right? Yep. Brighter side tonight, 5 p.m. Yep. Go, Go check Twitch. it out. Twitch yeah. TV slash LPN TV. 
We're going to be putting a lot more stuff on YouTube, a last stream on the left. Watch it live. If you subscribe to our Patreon, we're going to have some changes. We're very, very excited. We're rolling out a bunch of new shit this month. Yeah. And uh, we are working our brains out. Trying to make sure you're entertained until you can barely fucking think. Amen. We want to do the thinking for you. Man, please. And the talking. Yeah, thinking, talking. And the fucking. I was going to say, but thank you. And I'll smoke your weed, too. Yeah, come on. Bring us weed, too. <laughs> we'll fuck your husband. We'll fuck your wife. We'll smoke your weed. But we'll make you laugh. Yeah. And that's the key. I'll make dinner for your children. He, let him make dinner for your children. <laughs> let him do it. <laughs> let him stay in your house. <laughs> I can cook. Oh, yeah. All right. Um. All right. Goodbye. Hail Bye, Satan. Everyone. Hail Satan. Thank you for doing it. <laughs> this show is made possible by listeners like you. Thanks to our ad sponsors. You can support our shows by supporting them. For more shows like the one you just listened to, go to lastpodcastnetwork.com.